Hello guys, welcome to another video in this React series. This is a continuation of my previous video on React data table. If you have not watched that one, please feel free to go back and watch that video and come back to this one. I have provided the link for that video in the description as well. So to continue, let's open the code editor first. Here we have a logic for our data table along with the different features such as pagination, highlighting the row on most over, responsive, etc. To add to this data table, first thing we need to do is we need to create a state variable for holding the text which will be entered by the users to filter out the results from this table. So within this functional component, let me add one state variable and by using use state hook, we are defining the initial value to null. And we have a defined function by name set global filter text. As we are using use state hook, we need to import that one. For that one, let me add use state hook at the top of the component where we are going to import React. Next thing is we need to add a function to handle the state of this state variable which we have just now created. For that one, let me add a function. Later point of time, we are going to call this function whenever there is a change in the input text from the users. So whenever there is a change in the input text, that will be captured and set to the global filter text by using the function set global filter text here. Next, we need to define another function to filter the data from this text value which will be entered by the user. So this is a code snippet for filtering the data. So let's break down this one. The data.filter code helps in going through each row in the data set. And here object.values row will extract all the values from the current row, which means whenever there is a loop on each iteration, it will fetch the data from each row. Then dot sum value will check if at least one value meets a certain condition which user has defined or entered in input box. For the matched values from this code, the data will be converted to lowercase by using this code. So basically, if there is any value in the row which satisfies the condition, the row is added to this filter data. Once we are done with filtering the data, the next step is we need to add JSX element in which user are going to enter their text or filter value. So for that one, let me add one input JSX element here as the basic principle of return is whatever the JSX elements are there that should be enclosed within one JSX element. For that one, we'll use react fragment here and enclose input and data table tags within this one. Here you can observe that keywords entered by the user are going to be assigned to global filter text by using the JSX elements value property. And then on each value change, we are calling handle global filter. So that means on each value change, we are going to set global filter text. Once this is done, the final step which we need to do here is set the data table value to the filtered data. Because initially when React application loads, the data which is retrieved from this data object that will be stored or displayed in this data table. But as user starts keep on entering the search entries, we need to refine this data table data based on the key entries by the user. So for that one, we need to set the data of this one to this filter data, which we are going to get from this function. So let me copy this one and add it to this prop. Now we are done with all the steps to add a filter or search in the component. And we have added this one already to our main file that is app.js file. So let's save all the files here and go to browser to preview this one. And now you can observe we got a search input box here. So when I try to enter any text here, for example, John, that will be displayed. Based on the keywords entered here, a global search will occur in this data table and it will search for this key in all the columns of this data table. As you can observe here, John is present in name column of first row entry and it is present in age column of third row entry. So this search will filter out all the data from all the columns here. So that's how global search works in this React application. 
that's it guys for this video i hope these two videos on react table gave you a fair idea on how to set up the necessary packages for data table then how we can use that data table and how we can add different features such as pagination filter responsive etc thanks guys for watching this video if you like this please click on like button share it with others and subscribe to my channel